Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome to World of Day. And today we're going to talk about a topic that's that's near and dear to me. That's um, it's a delicious topic, and uh, hopefully it gives you a little bit of insight and, and you know information that you didn't have previously, and hopefully you can learn something. If not, you know you'll definitely hopefully be entertained and informed. You know, today I'm going to talk about apples. Now, I'm going to talk about apples. Just, just remember. Now, I'm not a, I'm not a health specialist. I'm not a scientist. I'm not, you know, I, I do, you know, work in the food industry, but I am not, you know, here to tell you what you should and shouldn't eat. I'm just giving information that hopefully, you know, might get a little insight, you know, to you and your daily um, journeys as well. And I'll just tell you a little story about myself. Now, when it comes to apples. For a long time, I'm 48 now. I'll be 49 years old this year. And I just started eating apples, I'm gonna be honest with you, about seven years ago. You know, before then, so for the, I guess like the first 42 years of my life, 40, about, no, nah, about, eh, about 42, 41 years of my life, I really didn't eat very many apples at all. At all, for, for a long time. I dare say there, I'm sure there was probably years that I went, without eating an apple for a whole year, for whatever reason. I just, I didn't like the texture. I didn't, you know, had it in my mind, just different things that, you know, didn't have pleasurable experiences with apples. But as I got older and went through a series of health issues, you know, went through a, a period um, back in about 2012, 2013, where, you know, I, I you know, started having health issues and went to the hospital, went to the doctor, and they wanted to say that, you know, I had um, diabetes. Well, I'm like, oh, that's not good. So I had to start doing a lot of studying and everything. And I started finding out, okay, what it is, is I'm pre-diabetic. But if I change my diet, you know, I'll, I'll probably have some, some better results. So I started to remove sugar, this, that, and the other. But this made me start to think. I said, um, you know what? Apples are starting to look real good to me. I'm going to start eating apples again and see how that goes. And so I started eating apples again. And that became my snack of choice. So that replaced cake and ice cream and candy bars. You know, apples, you know, just kind of took over for that and, you know, became a part of my everyday snack regimen. And so apples and grapes, apples and grapes. And we'll talk about grapes on another one because they're awesome as well. But just a little, you know, background on apples, you know, what, it, what you know, myself personally, what it did was, you know, you know, eating apples and, you know, removing sugar from my diet and, you know, those simple tweaks in my personal diet got my blood glucose levels down um, to the point where, you know, no longer diabetic, no longer pre-diabetic, you know, and just along with, you know, other other health choices, you know, try to, you know, light exercise and so forth. But, you know, that's one of the major things that I did in adding it to my snack regimen to the point now it's, it's, it's really my main staple snack now. And so I love apples. So that being said, I'm going to tell you a little bit about apples. Things I didn't know. I, you know, over the past, like I say, over the past seven years, I've learned quite a bit about apples. You know, one of the things I learned about apples that, that blew my mind, might not blow yours, you might already knew this, I don't know. But there are 7,500 varieties of apples. That's 7,500 varieties of apples. You know, I learned about this, you know, about seven years ago, and it just blew my mind. I, you know, I had no idea know that, that there were that many varieties of apples but let me tell you a little bit about apples that um you know you might know know you might not know i don't know but they're they're rich in fiber and antioxidants you know they're you know eating them you know is linked to lower you know risk of you know chronic conditions including diabetes heart disease cancer you know you know they also you know apples help to promote weight loss and improve um brain and gut health and so Along with the other benefits, some of the other benefits are, you know, strength in lungs, um, you know, helps with, you know, asthma, bone health, you know, helps with um, your brain. You know, it actually eases the symptoms of um, Alzheimer's and age related um, memory loss, which these are these are very important to all of us. These are very important to all of us. Helps to strengthen your immune system. Like I said, gut health. You know, these are all important things to us all. You know, we all need to, to, to you know. To really look at you know these things in our in our daily lives and so when, when it comes to apples i'm gonna give you some of the you know like i say this is my day this is my go-to you know it's my go-to on a portable snack 
you know, I have a few favorite apples, you know, whether it be Fuji or whether it be um, Honeycrisp. And, and I'm going to tell you, the Gala apples this year have been pretty good. I'm usually not a Gala apple fan, but this year they've been pretty good. So praise God. Um, you know, Granny Smith, you know, there, there are so many awesome varieties. But the thing I love about apples, here's what I'll do on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, like I said, you know, I, I do a lot of traveling. You know, I you know drive hundreds of miles when I when I leave from the farm and go to the city, you know, for hours and hours, my go-to snack, I'll grab, you know, one or two apples, you know, and a, and, a, and a banana, have my water, boom, that's lunch. That's, that's, that takes, that, that's going to take me out into the world and make sure that when I get hangry around three or whatever, you know, that I, you know, hit my apple, you know, a couple of apples, I call them power pellets. I'm going to be honest with you. I call apples power pellets. That's why I love them so much now. And so, and you know, it's, it's, it's an interesting paradigm shift, you know, from, you know, here it is eight years ago when I, you know, I, you know, stayed away from apples, didn't think nothing about apples. So now today, fast forward to where that's my go to snack, you know, that's my go to snack for any time of day and definitely in the middle of the day. Apples have gotten me through. Oh, my goodness. Many a meeting, many a day I can go, you know. Usually, I'm going to be honest with you, usually an apple is the first thing that I'll eat in the course of a day. You know, I'll do, you know, you know they do, they call it intermittent fasting. You know, I won't eat anything for the first half of the day. But then when I do eat something, the first thing that I typically eat is an apple, especially when I'm out, you know, and about doing meetings, meeting with people, you know, going and running, you know, delivery, whatever I'm doing, you know, on the go. Apples are my go to. There is zero preparation other than, you know, washing it off or rinsing it, you know, wiping it or whatever. It's already ready to go. I'm about to be honest with you. Talk about the perfect food. You know, there is zero preparation. You know, you pick up, you know, you pick up a couple of them. You know, you look at if there's something wrong with them, you automatically see what's wrong with them. You know, I mean, they're easy to they're easy to analyze if there's a, if there's a, a dysfunction with them or if there's a flaw in them. You know, but typically, I'm going to be honest with you, the, the Apple market has been really good here over the past several years. Um, the, the quality of apples has really gone up a lot. I mean, I, I, I just got to say, you know, being in the food industry, you know, the quality of apples has really, I mean, has really gone through the roof. I mean, and here's the thing. The availability of organic apples has gone through the roof. The, you know, the availability of, of bulk apples has gone through the roof. I mean, there's just such a variety of apples, so I can talk about apples all day. So that's why I figured, you know, today on Well, say, well, let's talk about apples. You know, there, there are many, many, many benefits to eating apples on a daily basis. But, you know, it's, I'm going to be honest with you. One of the things that really got my mind to going back to it and everything, when I had all these health issues, I remember the phrase that we've all heard <laughs> since we were little, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I'm not, you know, not going to say that, you know, that, that, that that's exactly what happens, but I'm going to tell you, that phrase is what made me start thinking about, I'm going to start eating more apples. And from my personal experience, it has been very helpful. It's been very helpful. Just to give you another couple uh, other um, stats here. Now, the average, you know, a medium-sized apple is about 95 calories, Okay about 95 calories. So you can, you know, when you're counting your calories on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, you look at, okay, you know, get a couple of medium-sized apples, you know, some other snacks on the side, maybe some, I'm, I'm a, now I was going to save this, but I'm going I'm to go ahead and throw it in there. Apples and peanut butter, forget about it. Game changer. Game changer. I mean, <laughs> I, it's, it's, it's crazy. I mean, and we, I think we can all appreciate that. That's why, you know, that's not nothing new. I, I didn't recreate the wheel here. We all know about it, you know, and, and one thing I really appreciate over the past several years, it has become a very popular staple and snack for, for, our, for our young ones. We're starting to use it more, you know, with our kids as a, as a replacement snack for all of the candies and bad stuff, you know, the cakes and so forth. You know, a lot of kids are starting to eat you know, apples and, and apple slices are have become quite commonplace now for a lot of our young ones. And I, and I really appreciate that because that's going to give them a running start to where, it, not like me growing up, you know, apples were, you know, were not, you know, readily accessible 
like that in in our environment because you know well some marketing thing I don't want to get all into it or whatever you know but you know that's when packaging foods you know and processing foods you know really blew up and developed but I'm glad to see a return back to some of the natural foods you know that God has you know just created for us you know in their whole form you know whole foods are very important to us very important to our health very important to our bodies and it's you know this is a time more than ever where you know we can all honestly say over the past few years, we've all become way more conscious of our health than ever. You know, depending upon how old you are, you know, probably more than ever in your life, you're more conscious about, um, you know, your health. And so I just, you know, wanted to, you know, bring up the apple conversation and just, you know, have, have you know, have a talk about because it it's such an awesome food. It just really is. Um, there's so many varieties. And that's why I wanted to point out the, you know, 7,500 varieties. I'm going to be honest with you. You can't name a whole lot of, you know, other foods that are edible that have so much variety. I mean, you can, I mean, you can, you know, <laughs> kind of like Bubba Gump. I mean, you can, you can fry them, you can fricassee them, you can bake them, you can <laughs> put, them, put them in pies, you know, you can have them raw, you know, you can steam them, you can, I mean, you can do so many different things with them. You can turn them into applesauce, you can, you know, you know, you can turn them into apple cider, you know, apple juice, you know, the, 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 the uses for apples are boundless. And so, you know, I think, you know, this is a really interesting time. And like I say, my personal self uses a variety of apples daily, you know, on a regular basis, on the go, at home. It's my go-to snack, you know, and like I say, you know, I become very infatuated with the, even the mixing of apples. So here's what I'll do. I'm going to tell you one of the combinations that I enjoy a lot. I like a Granny Smith cubed up with the Fuji apple cubed up. Mix them together. Voila. That's a great snack. And if you want to get jazzy with it a little bit, you know, you can get a little, you know, um, you know, maybe coconut sugar or something, you know. Pour it on there a little bit, just dab it on there a little bit, throw it in, mix it up with some grapes or something. Voila. You know, long story short, the applications are, are, you know, are endless when it comes to, you know, apples. But I just wanted to, you know, come today and have this conversation and say, you know, you know, I don't know if you've considered it, if you've even thought about it. And if you're like me, you probably didn't think about it. Just, you know, out of sight, out of mind. It's not in your everyday, you know, thought process. But I'm going to tell you, apples are close, almost closest to the perfect food than anything that I can think of when it comes to, you know, you know, quality, healthy foods. And I mean, the accessibility of them are so, you know, it's, it's better than ever. And like I say, you know, you want to look at things, you want to look at, you know, the organic versus, you know, the mainstream, you know, um, um, you know, industrial engineered, you know, you know, GMO, you know, form of apples or what have you. But like I say, the varieties are so plentiful right now that you can, you know, pick your, you know, pick, pick what suits you, you know, and here's the thing, here's, the, and I'm going to be honest with you, I'm going to be honest with you, even if you can't afford to get the organic, you know, get the, the main one that's provided, you know, that's readily accessible, you know, rinse it, clean it, you know, there, here's the thing about, about it as well, you know, clean that apple is, you know, clean that apple really good, remove any of the pesticides from it, you know, just make sure you clean it real good, and, you know, even, you know, our standard apples, are very healthy for you. Just make sure you clean them real good to remove any of the pesticides and so forth. You know, just become, you know, become an apple file. You know, I don't even know if that's a word, but I'm going to go ahead and coin the word now, an apple file, because the reality of it is, is apples are awesome. I love apples. Um, I'll talk more about apples because, I mean, here's the thing. This short little, you know, the short little, you know, visit to well today is, you know, only just tapping into the little bit that there is to talk about with apples. But I just want to say, well, let's have you have you um, considered apples. And today, hopefully, maybe you will. And um, just enjoy some apples and I'll talk to you later. God bless you.